Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. So today's video is going to be a thrift haul. So if you would like to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, so um, I'm going to get into thrift haul and I went to three different places. I got some items, you know, I tried to be a little more picky this time, and I say that every time, but I really did try to be more picky, so I didn't get as much stuff, and I think I have another bag over there I need to bring. But anyway, if you see the background behind me, this is what I'm going to start using as a background on my Poshmark photos. I really don't know if it's going to be too much. It probably will be. Um, so it might change back, but right now my photos look like this, and... I would prefer them to look more like this back here. I have like a hemp rope that I have tied up and then it, you put the hanger on it, it kind of hangs down. It's really cute, I think. I was up all night looking at um, photography layouts and stuff and it's just kind of something I put together in my mind. I didn't copy it from anybody. I just went and found something cute that I liked and I'm going to try it out. We're going to see because I wanted to get a mannequin but I was like, you know, I really don't want to deal with the whole mannequin because I bought this dress form okay this thing right here and I hate it I do not like it it's a pain um, because this right here it twists and it falls off and it's just really annoying to have to put the clothes on and off so I was like you know I really don't think I want to buy a mannequin um, that may change I don't know you know I'm gonna try this out see how this goes and I will go from there. So anyway, um, I'm done blabbing. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first bag is from Goodwill. And I can't tell you exactly how much I spent. I want to say about $50. I have the receipts in the bag, so I'll tally it up. And it will be in the title of the video. So, All right, so the first thing I got was this hoodie it's just a Star Wars hoodie um, sometimes I try to find things like this um, just random little t-shirts and hoodies and stuff because this is the type of stuff I prefer to wear I'm not really an anthropology type person wearing that kind of stuff I love the style like it's cute maybe if I was like 60 pounds lighter I would probably be more into wearing it but right now I like comfort and I'm into more comfortable clothing. So a lot of the stuff that I will pick out is stuff that I would probably wear. Um, but of course, at times I'm also shopping for other people and what other people like. But yeah, so I got this. It's kind of, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but it's just like a sweatshirt material. It is kind of thinned out in spots. Kind of like that, is it a burnout? Like a burnout shirt? Um, a burnout tee? But yeah, um, I did comp it. it. You know, it'll sell. But maybe not for a lot. But it's okay. I didn't spend much on it. Um, this is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. And I don't remember how much I paid for this. But it's cute. I'm going to sell it for about $30. I comped it. Um, it's a large. But it's this cute little peplum type top. Um, it's really sheer looking. It's got the floral on it. Let me show you the tag denim and supply um i really like it i think it is adorable and i always pick up denim and supply even if it's jeans or t-shirts or dresses the dresses do better now i do have a dress right now in my closet and it's not moving it's just sitting there and i've lowered the price repeatedly um it's just weird on poshmark how the price you'll have it really low nobody will buy it but the minute you jack it up way more than anybody would want to buy it people buy it i don't understand it. I'm not complaining at all, but it's just, I don't understand it at all. <laughs> okay, this is, it needs to be, there's some strings that need to be cut, but this is a Harley Davidson. I always pick up Harley Davidson. Um, it's just like a little women's jacket. It's extra small um, on the back. As you can see, it's got like a loose string, but it says Harley Davidson, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, really cute, and you know, I didn't see anything wrong with it. It looks like it's in pretty amazing condition um, besides a few stray strings here and there. So I don't know what I'm going to list it for, but um, I will comp it and kind of go from there. Typically, whenever I started doing my comps recently, 
I started doing them the correct way, I guess you would say. I look up the soles and per whatever size I have, if I don't find it, then I kind of go to all other sizes to kind of guess. But I will like, whatever it sold for, I'll add $10 to that. I was going to sell hound. I didn't really see where that was helping. It's, I don't like that. I'm not gonna do that anymore. So sell hound is out. Um, that's just more for comparing sites, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just going back into Poshmark and I'm going through the reverse search and it's working out okay. Um, this probably won't sell for much, but I grabbed it. It was a dollar. So it's this North Face. Um, it's like a, a athletic top. It's like spandex. It's got the built-in bra. Um, it's a size small. You know, I always find the good stuff in size small and it sits and sits. I do try to find bigger sizes, but sometimes it's hard. Um, this is a We The Free. It's uh, free people. It's a size medium. And it's one of those thermal tops that's got like the cute fabric cuff. Um, really cute. It was in good, good condition. And these, I thought, were pretty cool. Um, you know, the whole mom jean, high-waisted thing is in style. So I picked these up because these are super vintage, and they're Jordache, which was an extremely common brand, especially whenever I was a kid. It was between Gatano and Jordache. Those were like the two main brands that I remember wearing. Um, but these are mom jeans. These are these, like, they're straight-legged. Um, as you see the butt, it's pretty vintage. Um, the front is pretty high-waisted. Um, I'm not really sure how high-waisted it is. I haven't measured it, but I would say probably about 10, 10 inches maybe, maybe 11, 10.5. But yeah, this is a size, and I can't, it's a size 29-inch waist, so, um, length long, it is long. They're just vintage jeans, so... I did look and I saw some of these that were like $75 sold. Um, the bottoms are long. They could be hemmed to whatever size people need. And of course it doesn't cost that much to have your pants hemmed. And some people can do them, you know, their self. Not me, but some, you know, normal people. Um, I got another pair of Victoria's Secret pink blue jeans. These are flare jeans. They are low rise, um, distressed. I have sold this brand before and it sold pretty quick I think I sold it for like $25 but yeah they're just these flare jeans um, really cute good condition um, I mean if you like the distressing and stuff so um, I think they'll go pretty quick this brand does sell pretty well as long as it's not bras and all of the stuff that's like cluttering up Poshmark all right, so the last item I have here is a pair of soft surroundings jeans. They really don't sell too well. Um, these are size medium. They're kind of a stretchy material. They do need to be steamed because they are kind of wrinkly. But they're just some basic, I don't know if these would be, I don't want to say these are straight jeans. I want to say these are like bootleg maybe? I don't know. I have the biggest issue trying to figure out that. But yeah, so these are just soft surroundings jeans um that's just another brand that i've tried to pick up here lately and my receipt for this stuff um it says 54 dollars but yeah i don't know that was not for all of that i can tell you that much oh because i have some more things here my bad <clears throat> All right, so this is free people. There is not a size label, so I'm gonna have to kind of guesstimate on the size. Um, speaking of guesstimating sizes, I had a Poshmark case open yesterday because I had a pair of Coach flats that did not have a size on them. So I measured them and I included the measurement and I said that it measures to be about an 8.5. Well, the person compared it to her 8.5s and said it didn't match and I was like, oh crap. So I just went ahead and told them to refund her. I don't want to deal with that anymore. I told her she can keep the shoes. I don't even want them. I pay like 50 cents for them, you know? So I was like, whatever. She can just keep them. Just give her a refund. I will never deal with shoes with no shoe size label again. Never again. As for clothing, it's a little bit easier because, you know, you can measure it out and kind of guesstimate if it's a medium, large, extra large, whatnot. But with shoes, it's 
a whole nother story. So, anyway. Um, this is Free People. It is like a jacket, a knit jacket. It's got some sequins and beading. Um, I guess this is like a zebra print or I don't know. It's like a mixture of all animal prints. It's got like leopard and zebra and giraffe and but yeah, so it's like an animal print top. Um, it's got the hoodie on the back. I tried to find one like it on Poshmark and I couldn't so um, I'm just going to have to search for it. <laughs> It'll be a while. Uh, this is Ivanka Trump. I always pick up Ivanka Trump because it sells pretty well for me. I have not had a piece sit long. Ivanka Trump is just a cute little, I don't know if you want to call it plaid. It's just like a plaid black and white shirt. It's got the little three quarter sleeves rolled up with little buckles. And yeah, it's a pullover. And then this Lucky Brand um, cardigan. It was really pretty. I do have the fabric shaver, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be needing a little bit of shaving. It's kind of, you can tell it was loved. Um, but yeah, and it's also that material that has like, can you see this type of material? You see all the bumps and stuff, so I definitely have to shave that down. I'm going to try to repair it as best as I can. Um, of course, I will be selling it on Poshmark for the price. I don't know. Um, I will of course list all of the issues but let me just show you this is a size large like here's the back which I thought was cute um, it's got like that bohemian feel to it real pretty um, it's just an open cardigan that's all and it says lucky me on the little metal tag um, here is the other good little bag So I found a lot of anthropology, but it wasn't like current, obviously. It's never in season anthropology, but it's just random cute things. So this one is a florite, which is an anthropology. Let's see if I can get it in the right camera. And it's this pretty little peplum top. It's got like the ruffles on the front. It's really sheer. Um, it's got lace on the top of the sleeves, little ruffles on the bottom with little buttons. Um, really cute. And I don't know what I'm going to list these for. I should have already had them listed, but I was like, I want to really make sure that I get them um, comped correctly. This is an Angel of the North, which is another anthropology. It is a size medium. Here is the, it's an, an older label, the older one. Um, and it's just a black cardigan. Um, I checked it for holes because it never fails. Every time I buy one like this, it, there's always a little hole somewhere in it. Um, but yeah, it's got like the sheer backing on the bottom. Really cute. And of course, I had to pick this up because, you know, people love these things. And you can get at least 25 bucks out of it. Um, but it's just this pure bar racer back tank top. A lot of people like to wear these whenever they go to the classes. So I'm sure that will, it'll sell pretty quick. <clears throat> now this one is another free people. This is a size extra small, but it is extremely oversized. It's one of those, I want to say burnout. I don't know if that's what you want to call them. I see a lot of videos and that's what they call them. So it's like a burnout sweatshirt type thing. It's kind of a thin material. Um, the bottom is, you know, like the, it's a little, I don't know if I should trim that up or not. I'll probably just trim it up, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, no holes. It's really, it's cute. It's just, you know, one of those little oversized tops that you see. Alrighty. Um, this one is a Maeve. I believe this is an older Maeve, possibly. Well, maybe not too old. But it's just a button down top. It needs to be steamed badly. It is wrinkled. Um, but it's got like the cute little cuffed sleeves. It's really tiny. Um, and this is like a blue color if you can't tell. It's like a blue aqua color I guess is what you would call it. Turquoise. Um, but yeah. It just needs to be steamed. I think it'll look real cute. And it is a size 2. Always a size 2. So this one I've got to actually work on because I got it home and I was like, oh, there's an armpit stain and there's nothing grosser than that. But like, 
I like the armpit. Can you even see it? You can't even see it in the lighting. Anyway, that doesn't mean anything. I'm still going to try to get it out. If I can't, then I'll probably just, I don't know, give it to my daughter. But it's a Madewell. It's just like a cute little striped crop top. They look really cute with a pair of jeans and a little denim top jacket. Uh, this is another anthropology piece. This is Meadow Rue. And it's just this pretty little sweater. It's got a ruffle bottom. And it's got pretty lace in the middle. And then kind of like a embroidery on the top part. I really like this. I've gotten some really cute sweaters here lately that are anthropology. Um, a lot of them are through Moth, I think is the name of the company. Alright. Um, this one is a knitted and knotted. Of course, you can always tell by that right there. Um, it's just a lace detailed cardigan. It's got these kind of poofy arms. But yeah, just a cute little cardigan. And I found this. I've seen the name everywhere. I don't know how it'll do. But it's Carl Lagerfeld? Something like that, you know. If you sell on Poshmark, you're probably well familiar with who that is. But it's this cold shoulder top, um, just a navy blue. It's kind of like a silky material back here, and then up front it's more of a cotton, um, stretchy cotton spandex feel. Alright, I'm almost to the end of this bag. So this is a size medium, it's soft surroundings. Um, it's got like the little metal tag on it, but it's like this, it's like a sweater, like a tunic sweater. It has some spots that I need to shave down. Um, but yeah, really cute. I think somebody will like it. You know, I went sourcing today and I was like, you know, it's 75 degrees here right now. Like should I still be sourcing sweaters and stuff like that or should I start doing shorts and tanks I don't really know at this point I'm just like the weather is so confusing here anymore I have no idea what I'm supposed to do so I'm just buying whatever and just I would like to stop buying sweaters and stuff because it's getting to that point to where um, I don't have any more room downstairs alright this is a We The Free Extra Small um, it's like a tank top thermal I don't know what you want to call it, but it's got the tank top. Did I say tank top? It's got the turtleneck. <laughs> it's like a cowl neck. Um, and yeah, it's just, can you see the material? It's in pretty good condition. Like there's, you know, the bottom. But a lot of the free people stuff looks like this. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or not. I'm just going to trim it. All right, and then... So that was $40. So yeah, I think I spent like $100 or so on that Goodwill haul. Um, this one is from my little His House place that I go to. Um, I've already listed these in my closet, so you may already be seeing these. Um, the first item is a BCB Generation, which I never pick up, but it was a cute dress. And little black dresses, I think everybody needs one, so I feel like people would probably pay for one. But look, it's got these pretty lace sleeves. It's real cute. It's just a short black dress. It's kind of flowy on the back. Well, whenever it's connected properly. Um, it's got like two holes in the back, if you can see. But um, yeah, it's just a cute little dress. It's got like pleats in the front. It's adorable. Um, this was a brand that I was not familiar with. It's called K-Lab. But the shirt style was adorable, so I had to get it. But this is K-Lab. I mean, the sleeves, look at those. Are those not the cutest? I mean, they're so cute. Look at the studding. I love studying on clothing. But yeah, it's just a basic sweatshirt with these cute studded wrapped arms. And nobody likes it yet but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, this is Cloth and Stone. Now, of course, if you're familiar with Cloth and Stone, you know they sell it at Anthropology.
But this one, the RN number is different. So I know they sell it at other places. I still consider it Anthropology because it's like one of their main brands that they sell. Um, it's a RN number 132734. I'm not sure who it is. I will look it up. It could be like Nordstrom or something like that because they do sell some free people and Anthropology pieces there. Um, but yeah, it's just this cute, um, I don't know what you call it, button down top. And I like the design on it. The design is real different. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know if it would be considered like an Aztec or geometric. I don't know. Do you know what you would call this? And I don't know how that would look on that wall. That looks really bad. Yeah, I don't know how this background's going to do with some of these things because it's like, whoa, that's a lot going on all over the place. All right, so... This is a size large, just a Lucky Brand t-shirt. Um, the only reason I got this, I will say, it's because I posted a Lucky Brand t-shirt. Um, I listed a Lucky Brand t-shirt the other day, and like it sold not even 20 minutes after I listed it, like that fast, for the full amount that I asked for. And I was just like, what? Like, really? And it was just a basic t-shirt. That's all it was. It was purple. It had some floral on it. It was pretty. But I had no idea it was going to sell that fast. So I was like, maybe I should start buying some Lucky Brand t-shirts because apparently people like them. So, um, This is a Guns N' Roses. I believe this one is a woman's t-shirt because it's shorter. Um, it's just a Guns N' Roses. It's got like the skeletons. Just a black t-shirt. They had just put it out whenever I was about to leave. So I grabbed them up. And another Guns N' Roses t-shirt which is more of a men's because it's very long. It's a Paradise City. It's kind of like a tie-dye. Um, I've seen one. It didn't look like it sold for very much, but I paid $2, so it's okay. These are Can Can, which are a little high-waisted jean. Um, they are straight-legged. I've seen the brand on Poshmark. I don't know how they will do. Um, so, I got these to test out. So far, they're just sitting there waiting for a, a like. Alright, these are, well, I think I actually went over these in a previous haul, but this is stuff that I just posted, so I'll just go ahead and show it to you again. This is Horny Toad, and it's like, I want to say they're like Bermuda shorts. Um, they're, they're brown with like pink pinstripes on them. Um... Yeah, these are size 12s. They're in really, really good condition. I don't remember where I bought those, but they were in this bag with everything else. So, um, these are J. Crew Corduroys 28 regular. Um, really good condition. They're just straight legged corduroys. Kind of like a ivory color, I guess. <clears throat> And these are the Ralph Lauren Proprietor denim. They're little girls. They're size 16 for girls. Um, they're just some flares, Ralph Lauren flares. And yeah, I went ahead and uploaded these to Poshmark because I have had them for a while just sitting um, in my inventory room in a death pile. And I finally got my death pile cleared up. So these are Eileen Fisher. They are like a silk blend. Um, can't. They are kind of wrinkled. I did steam them before I photographed them, but it's just the material itself is just easily wrinkled. Um, but yeah, they got like two pockets. They're kind of like a capri, I guess. Depending on your leg length. Um, oh, and this right here, guys, this was so pretty. I've been looking for pretty vintage dresses, and this one I think, I don't know if it's polyester or if it's like a silk blend it's really silky feeling which you know polyester always has that feel it's kind of thick but this dress okay I love this okay first of all if you look at the front now I don't know what this design is and if you know what it is please tell me because I've been trying to look it up to figure out what to name it I went ahead and listed it <coughs> I went ahead and listed it and um, it's a gorgeous dress I mean it's very long but on the sides, it's got these three buttons. And on both sides, it's got like the split, right? So it splits right down on both sides. Or the slit, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is, on this side, 
this right here there's a hole here in the seam which is an easy fix because it is on the seam and I found down on the bottom where is it I found a hole here which is basically not visible because there is lining underneath it silk lining and it prevents you from even seeing that hole um, but I did find this can you see it it's like ink somebody wrote on it with ink so yeah but anyway I still listed it for sale it's adorable it needs minor repairs and I thought the clasp was broke but apparently it's not it does work so I need to probably update my listing but yeah so it's just this gorgeous I call it a tunic hostess dress maybe I don't know all right let me get the other thing oh these shoes they were funky and I was like oh they still have tags on their air techs um, they're brand new they've never been worn but they have such a strange style to them so I picked them up because you know they're cute kind of and I don't know if I showed you these but they're top shops um, they're just black I have a pair of red ones they do have the tag on the back of them which says $105 and $30 and then I think I did show you guys this because I, I remember talking about that. So anyway, let me go get the other ones. Okay, so um, and today I went and I just grabbed a few things um, while I was out killing some time. And the first things, the first things, okay, um, the first thing I have here, they're really cute booties. I guess that's what you want to call them, ankle booties. They, let me close them up. These are Vince Camuto. Now, their shoes do sell pretty well. Their clothes, not so much. Um, these were in pretty good shape. They're these, like, open toe, booty, sandal type things. I don't know what they're called. But they are cute, and they look nice. They were clean, and they're size 9, so it's a good size, too. So I grabbed them up. Let me try to move this out of the way. Uh, this is LuLaRoe. Of course, it was a dollar, so I was like, eh, I'll get it. Um, I like these longer shirts. LuLaRoe shirts are really comfortable. I have found myself wearing a lot of the tops that I buy um, and removing the listing because I'm just like, I'm going to keep this because this is comfortable. So um, that'll probably be the case for this one. It's just a striped. It's like a floral striped top. Um, I know LuLaRoe is going through a lot of legal stuff right now but you know their clothes are still comfortable so um i forget the name of this top there's a certain name for it um but yeah it's really oversized it's pretty and this is a small but even though it's a small i feel like well i probably couldn't fit into it because look at these tiny little sleeves <laughs> yeah that's not gonna work but anyway somebody will like it it's a long it's perfect for leggings really cute this is a Stitch Fix brand. It is Collective Concepts. It's an extra small. Um, it's just a silky dress or polyester dress. Um, but I thought it was cute. So I just grabbed it. I think I paid like $3 for it or something like that. Um, but yeah. There's that. And this is a women's small. It's a Patagonia. It's like a plaid I guess it's a dress I don't know so it's just I don't really know what it is it was in the dress section it's got like a zipper right here on the side um, but yeah I mean it's cute it's different just a little you know dress I guess there are no pockets which is unfortunate because it would be better if it had pockets because everybody loves pockets um, this is Brooks Brothers. It's a size 8. It's 100% silk. It's just a black dress. Um, it's actual Brooks Brothers, not the 346. 346 is kind of cheap compared to the actual um, Brooks Brothers store. So, but it's just a black dress, um, silk dress. So I'm not sure what I can get for it. I'm going to comp it later and see. I have my work cut out for me whenever I, I go to work tonight because on third shift it's pretty dead. At night, you know, people are sleeping, and you get up, you do your rounds every two hours, so I have some time in between doing my rounds that I can actually kind of, you know, look up stuff, read, whatever. 
So I will do that tonight. Um, this is a bar three. I had success with a sweater that I sold from this brand, so I decided why not try a dress? We'll see. It's different. It's just like a, it looks like a paint splatter dress. It's a shorter dress. It's got like the zipper in the front that goes all the way down. Um, but it's cute. It is small, but I feel like it's the condition. It's really nice. The condition is real nice. And that's it. That is everything. So, um, I guess if you want to stick around, we can talk a little bit about some things. And if you don't, then that was it. That was the thrift haul. Thank you for watching. So I'm trying to update some listings. I don't know if I'm going to actually update every single item with this background. I think only certain things are going to be used with this background. But I think from now on, um, all of the new items that I get are going to be. But I just want to show you, okay. Like, say for instance I have this and I use it against this background. To me, it looks really bad, but if I was to use something maybe like this on the background, it looks okay. So I don't know if I want to do patterns on pattern, you know what I mean? Um, I would love some info from you guys. What do you think? Do you think that it doesn't really matter? Um, I'm just trying to make it kind of stick out a little more, and I'm hoping that this works. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, um... Let's see. As for sourcing, I will probably not do any sourcing next week. I did hire my daughter to work for me. Um, so I'm paying her to share my listings um, at 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. I'm sh having her go through my listings, helping me edit certain things, making sure, like she went through the other day and she wrote down all the items that do not have measurements because I do have a few items that I've missed. And um, she organized my Poshmark inventory room. Like, she's been a, such a big help. And, I, yeah, I could have done it. Like, I procrastinate. Like, I will just sit and wait. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. So, I can pay her to do it. And she does it. And she actually enjoys doing it, it seems. So, that is a plus. I don't know how my money situation is going to be since I'm paying her. Um, but, we'll see. Anyway, um, I don't know what these things are going to sell for. I'm going to start photographing some things before I go to work tonight, so I might be able to list some things while I'm at work. I have also been I have also been deleting and relisting items. So basically, I'll go through each listing that's been there. What I'll do is I'll go to the edit the price drop and I'll go to edit price. And if it's at four dollars, I go ahead and delete it. So right now, I have a ton of four dollar items in my closet that are going to be getting deleted soon and you know, updated for a higher price. Um, there's some things in my closet. I just don't even want my closet anymore. I feel like they're bad juju. Where I'm at right now with Poshmark, I still have not done my January. I did my January video of what sold, but I haven't added the photos into it. So I'm just kind of like, uh, I'm procrastinating once again. I need to do it, but I just don't feel like doing it. Um, so that'll be uploaded here soon. I might try and mess with that tonight. It's 7.30 right now. I have to be at work at 11. So I might have time to do it tonight. Um, anyway, I will have another video next week. I don't know if it's going to be about a thrift haul. I really doubt it will be a thrift haul. It will probably be like more of an educational video basing my experience on selling on Poshmark and what I do just to kind of an update. Because I am able to clear at least $1,000 net profit every month now. And that's good. Well, not December. December was bad, but that was Christmas. So, uh, you know, I was, I excuse it. Um, but I'll probably just do like an educational video based on how I do things on Poshmark compared to other people and what sells for me, what doesn't sell for me. Um, you know, one thing that I see on a lot of videos on these, uh, what brands I'll never source again, what brands I'll never sell on Poshmark again. It's like with me, I know why some of the things that I have don't sell is because of the style. Like, it's not the brand. It's the style of clothing. It really, truly is. The style sucks. Um, but a lot of us will just look at brands. We're like, oh, that's a good brand. I'm going to grab it. And we don't think about the style. And I'm still struggling with that. I've been struggling with that since May of last year because I'm not really a fashionista. <laughs> you know, I'm just a basic girl um, who just likes to wear t-shirts and jeans or leggings and you know tunic tops and 
I'm not really down with the whole fashion scene, you know, but I, I love to shop for other people. I love the styles of the clothes, but I just, I don't wear them. Anyway, so that was my thrift haul. Um, it wasn't very big, but it's, I got some good stuff, I think. I just have a lot of photographing to do now. Anyway, so that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great night and take care.